How's it going everybody? So in this video we show you how to catch kingfish with stick baits. We'll show you some tips and techniques and I'll show you my favorite two stick baits to use. Uh, so let's get started. So guys, and here's another really cool fishing spot in the far north. This is the Paranga Renga Harbor here. And just behind me is the Tehapua Wharf. Tehapua is the uh, northernmost town in New Zealand. It's a really small little settlement. There's a wharf there with lots of drones running past it. And uh, it just goes out right into the sea. Really cool looking harbor. It's huge. There's some huge sand dunes out there at the end. I've just seen a big splash by that uh, channel marker out there, so there seem to be some kingfish out there. a big kiwi and he took me right into the rocks as it goes busted me off including my lure so hopefully he'll be all right and shake this lure out but uh yeah i couldn't get him out of the rocks there yeah. went straight down to the ledge and uh basically got stuck there i opened my drag so he started running but the line was wrapped around some kind of rock and ripped me at the leader Hey everybody, so we came out for a second day here to Te Hapua. I had a bit of luck fishing for kingfish yesterday with stick baits and I also caught a few nice kawai as you might have seen on the video. Today is about the same time, incoming tide and uh, running into a minor fishing time. So uh, just about the same time as it was yesterday. And uh, I'm hoping today that I'm a little bit better prepared that I will hopefully catch a kingfish. So give it another go today. I lost my stick bait, so I will use slightly different stick bait today. It's a cheapo, it's a floating stick bait. I prefer this, the sinking stick baits, but yeah, unfortunately my favorite stick bait is gone. I've got my stick bait rod here. It's a Daiwa Saltist and uh, a Daiwa Big Game Reel. So I'm gonna cast a stick bait out today a few times, see what happens. And if nothing happens, I still have a smaller one. This used to be, I think I've shown that a few times on my videos when I was out kayak fishing. This is one of my favorite stick baits, albeit a little bit small. It catches a lot of cow, why? Because of the size, but it also hooks into kingies. That's a, a fish ink wing and a pink. I love pink and white, best color for kingies. So I got these two stick baits and I will give them a try and see what happens. Oh, hooked up into a kingy, but he is not really 100% sure yet that he's hooked there. Not the biggest one, but... Didn't realize he was hooked until it was a little bit too late. I'm gonna drag him into the shadows here. And then uh, we'll release him. This guy is... Uh, 83. Ah, shit. He's got the hook set too deep, so I cannot cannot get the hook out without uh, damaging him. So he's legal size. I'll have to keep him. Hey, do you guys want to want to have a kingfish? Do you want to fill it high above the dock? I'll, I'll get it to you. 
All right, guys, so here are a few tips and tricks for fishing with uh, stick baits from what I've learned over the time. Number one, fishing time. You want to be at your fishing spot at the right time. Kingfish don't feed all day long. They feed with the currents and uh, that fishingreminder.com we predict those best fishing times. The currents, as you know, follow the moon and the sun and everything, so it's all related. So be there at the right bite time to increase your chances. Number two, fishing spot. Very important for kingfish. Kingfish don't just hang around anywhere. Kingfish like current structures with some deep drop-offs. So you'd be looking at harbor entrances like the one we've been showing you with a nice deep drop-off and the current flowing in or out depending on the tide. Um, the kingfish will be hanging around there, you know, waiting for food, chasing their bait fish and so on. So another good spot is rocky headlands uh, where you've got like a deep drop off of the rocks and the current flowing past. So um, good spot for catching kingfish. But guys, if you don't see kingfish activity or if you don't know kingfish are there or you can't attract the kingfish to you with a burly or so on, you're wasting your time. So fishing with stick bait is a bit like sight fishing, you know, you, you gotta see those splashes, those kingfish. Uh, once you know uh, the kingfish are around, then you can cast those stick baits. Otherwise, you know, you're wasting your time. Of course, the right technique. So for um, stick baiting, you want to cast out your stick bait to where you think the activity is uh, with the kingfish, where you might have seen a splash or so on. So you cast towards that splash and then you start reeling really fast. But don't forget to make pauses. So. You do a couple of really fast turns with your reel, pause for a second or two, then do another couple fast turns on your reel. This will make this uh, stick bait dart through the water really fast and then kind of sink or float, depending if you have a sinking or floating stick bait. This will cause them to strike this, um, this stick bait. So it's very important. Another technique is the sweep technique. So you cast out and you sweep do a big fast sweep with your rod like you sweep and at the same time you kind of reel in the slack line do another sweep reel in the slack line so that basically has the same effect as reeling in fast pausing you know you, you want the stick bait basically to move really fast and have a short pause to trigger the strike so guys now i'm just going to show you my two favorite stick baits that i personally had the most success with so let's check them out. So here we go. Those are my two favorite stick baits. This one here is a Shimano Rock Dive 65 gram in color blue and pink on the bottom. Uh, it's got really cool swimming action and this has caught me a lot of uh, kingfish. So yeah, I really like this one. The Shimano Rock Dive stick bait and particularly this color combination. And my second favorite stick bait here is um, a fish ink wing. So this one is a sinking stick bait and it's a little bit smaller than the uh, Shimano. It's got a nice color profile as well. This one is a bit used. Pink on the top and silvery white around there and it's got a really cool swimming action. It works particularly good for trolling of a kayak but also for just stick baiting off the shore because every time you stop and do a pause this the stick bait will sink and uh, it is really good at inducing those strikes. Yeah guys, so these are my two favorite stick bait for targeting those kingfish, so check those ones out. Uh, I'm not affiliated with any of those, uh, it's just my personal experience and preference. We're done with our video and you know, I hope you enjoyed that this time and you got something out of it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button down there and uh, visit us at fishingreminder.com you know we predict the best fishing times worldwide for free it works really good guys cheers and see you in the next video i'm a fan of stink uh, of not stinking i'm a fan of sinking stick baits <laughs> not stinking <laughs> <laughs>